What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. Vanessa Bell Calloway. Vanessa Bell Calloway, who played the role of Imani in Coming to America. People was like, you got to talk about this subject. We did it, I thought, in the panel. I thought we spoke about it in the panel, but I guess y'all wanted me to make a video about it. Because she made a statement saying that she was turned down from playing the role of Lisa. She didn't like the role of Imani, of course. Who wanted to play that part, actually? You know, you only had about a few minutes of screen time. And that was that. Where... When you watch the movie, you don't see all of the things that they're talking about as far as, you know, like, for instance, all the colorism that was taking place. Because you love the movie Coming to America, just like I did, you know. I mean, if you look at it from Vanessa Bell Calloway's position, being a black woman, you know, the only way you could do that is ask black women's opinion. Women who are darker, have darker complexions than most of the people that are light. Now, there's a lot of uh, people who have, like, there's so many shades. Like, there's some, like, me, I'm not black as dark as everybody else I wouldn't say I was dark skinned but there's so many of us that are there's so many of us that are darker than us and maybe they have been discriminated against because of their darkness and it's been done mostly by other blacks we see someone that's really dark and we immediately go to insult them. As if it was a crime to be as dark as they are. Now they have a bitterness towards light skins blacks. A lot of them do because of what they went through in the scrutiny as if it was something wrong with them by being darker. So dark skinned women really have seen a lot of favoritism towards the light skinned blacks compared to them. To many have tried to mimic, become, get fake hair like them because they felt they were in competition. So a lot of the dark-skinned women wanted to compete with the light-skinned women, not necessarily the Caucasian woman. They weren't trying to look like them. They were trying to look like the light-skinned girl. The light-skinned girl had all the pretty natural hair that's long. They wanted to get that. If they had to glue it in their head or whatever. So for them, they had a whole different outlook on the movie some of the girls did and we no I, like when this was out we never had any problems with the movie but now everybody's so socially uptight and woke on everything they're going back in time loops to look at movies from the past to see you know about colorism Now, say for instance, a dark-skinned woman, who's not really that dark-skinned, looks at that movie and says what? Because the actress that played Lisa McDowell in the movie, she wasn't super light-skinned. She was lighter than... Uh, Lisa, I mean, to Vanessa Bell Calloway, she was lighter than her, but, 
you know, that didn't necessarily make or break the film. And it would go unnoticed by a lot of people. Like, it would, ne it would nearly go unnoticed <laughs> by so many people who were watching it, filming it, or whatever. They didn't really see it. They just saw it as the movie. The movie was funny. The scene was funny. They didn't see it as Eddie Murphy was demeaning a black woman, a dark-skinned woman. You know, why did he make the dark-skinned woman jump on one leg and bark like a dog? What was that for? What was that about? Now, if this was a, a thing of just beauty, Imani, Vanessa Bell Calloway, still to this day, is drop-dead gorgeous. So this isn't about her beauty. Because she was beautiful enough to play the part. Her acting probably wasn't where they wanted it to be. Or they thought it was a better fit. Or they, the other girl who played Lisa McDowell, she probably, you know, she probably, you know, stood out more or tested well with all the variation of balancing different things in the in the film and if you watch the movie I think she gave a great performance as if you look at Vanessa Bell Calloway's character she's drop dead gorgeous for for her to play the role of Lisa McDowell I mean she was gonna turn heads when she walked around okay Lisa McDowell was like the average everyday girl, you know, and he just found this diamond in the rough, and she wasn't in the rough. I mean, she had a good job, and, you know, they had a good position, they made some money, you know, they had a big house, they, you know, they had a successful career, but... I don't know if she would have played that role better than the actress that played her. And that's the way I looked at it for the role. She said that Paramount made the final decision on it because I guess she felt like she did the line. She went for the roles and she thinks colorism is the reason she didn't get it. And it might have been. But the role of Imani was supposed to be a very beautiful woman. And I think the the idea of the movie was lost that I don't think that she was looking at. Well, you could say that because, you know, like I always said, the dark-skinned sister in the movie of Lisa was promiscuous. She was a thigh, in other words. And they was like, why they do that to the dark-skinned sister? And James Amos is dark-skinned. But they never showed their mama. But I, I have cousins that are like that. I have cousins who are, are sisters to each other. One is light skinned, one is dark skinned. I have two twin brothers. One is dark skinned, one is light skinned. So you have to ask yourself or you have to wonder why certain things are the way they are. Only if you stop to get socially involved into film, uh, you could bring awareness to this and say, hey, we got to make changes to certain, you know, narratives and perspectives in the movie. But if you look at it from the way the movie was supposed to stand out and what it was supposed to be, for me seeing it in my own family, for me seeing it outside to my friends and everyone else, It's more or less people get caught up into social struggles in that you can't enjoy the art or the film or the movie. Because people are looking for things now. To say, oh, what is that? Why is that there? Why did he 
Why he, 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 he like that for? And then you lose the point of why you there in the first place, and that was to be entertained by the film. Now, looking at the film, I could see why they did everything that they did in Coming to America. I didn't see it as colorism, really, at all. I saw it as, I believe she was the best for the part, the actress that they did, they, they got to play the role. I think she was better suited for that role. Um, playing Lisa McDowell than Vanessa Bell Calloway. I just, that's my natural opinion on the part. Um, I think to achieve what they wanted to, you know, even though she was cute and, and all of this, she wasn't the, the walkout knockout woman like when you see her she stops traffic you know she was the average girl you know who he just fell for now the role of why they pelt chick you know they Vanessa Bell Calloway's uh, character Imani why was she barking like a dog bouncing on one leg he was trying to prove a point in case you guys don't remember the film coming to America Imani was to be the most gorgeous thing they've ever seen so when they brought Imani out you were like oh my god Like you're supposed to as the audience go I wouldn't turn that down <laughs> that's what that was about you know so they wanted to have the most beautiful girl that they could find play that part and it's iconic that over the years people dressed up as a costume for Halloween to be Imani they wanted to be that character that that Imani role and character one it was funny and it was for comedy so he was like you'll do anything I tell you to do you know, it was about, he wanted someone to have free will. He wanted somebody to want to want him and marry him, be, not because it was arranged and being groomed since the moment they were born to be his wife. You know, it's like, no, I'm not going to do this. So, they selected Amani to be his wife. His parents did. So after she was vetted, she was chosen to be the wife, he breaks tradition, and then he marries the character. And, I mean, she could believe it was colorism, but it wasn't colorism, I don't think, at all. That, that led to her not getting the part. I think for what they wanted for the film, and the look, and the image of, like, we wanted you to see this. Now, could you imagine the other girl who played Lisa McDowell was playing Amani? He'd be like, eh, you can kind of do better. <laughs> I mean, this has to be a stunning woman that you meet, but they had nothing in common. They haven't even met each other. They had not, you know, they didn't know each other. So he was trying to bring that, that beauty is not everything. This is what the movie was trying to teach you in case you guys don't see it. <laughs> now let's get to the daughter. Her sister who was promiscuous and she was dark skinned and everybody said, why the dark skinned woman was all the freaking promiscuous and all this stuff and the light skinned girl. She was, I'm like one, the sister, the part, the role of the sister and who was chosen for it, the actress that played her, played the role to perfection. She just happened to be dark skin. The, the role was like she was a promiscuous girl who kept going around, you know, materialistic type of woman. You know, she was just looking for a rich guy, you know, a guy with money or 
you know, she just a freak, in other words. Why Lisa was the opposite. Now, what did you say if, okay, they say they made her the promiscuous woman, okay? Why was she dark skinned? Well, they had one daughter that was light skinned, one that was dark. But I don't think the color had too much to do with it. What they were trying to show you was the different levels from the gold diggers. Well, she kind of ended up with with the guy at the end. But still. She was like, why does Lisa always get the good ones? Because it's not about throwing sex around. Yeah, and they were trying to that, that's the message they were trying to trying to show like you don't have to be promiscuous to get a man you know and have a man those relationships normally don't work when you get those promiscuous women they normally fold or things don't go that way so that's my take on it, but I mean that could have went either way. But like for a light skinned person, you know, what if what would it matter to them, right? So what's the answer to this light skinned, dark skinned thing? Since people want to go there, what are they gonna do now? Fire all light skinned people now? Is that what we doing? <clears throat> so Other than that, I think we didn't we didn't went through all of the uh, intangibles. Now I'm gonna go on and get out of here, man. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the page, hit that notification bell, all of the wonderful things. And check out the Patreon. We are talking about what we talked about yesterday. About, you know, the different people being mind controlled and all that stuff. Yeah, that's all on the Patreon right now. We dropping names, dropping receipts. So, I'm out. <laughs>